Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you for being with me again today. Today I have the honor of talking about a subject that uh, I wanted to talk for a long time. I read about it, I listened to uh, lectures about it, and uh, that's a uh, subject that is not really known in the American history. It's not allowed to be uh, well known because that embarrasses not only the ag aggressor, uh, but also the people who try to cover it and uh, allow that to happen, which is, uh, they are right here on this continent. can't say any more, but you can find a lot of information on the subject. So uh, this is the incident uh, that occurred during the uh, uh, Arab and Israeli uh, war in 1967, the Six Day War. And that is the, the incident of the USS Liberty. That it was an uh, a intelligence ship in uh, in the Mediterranean Sea by uh, by the in, the in the international waters, and it was gathering information uh, about what's going on with a Egypt and uh, uh, Israel and blah 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 the area that war, and uh, it was attacked by Israelis and bombarded and hit with everything they got. And um, a lot of uh, American sailors died and it was all covered up. And uh, I will tell you more information after I read what's going on because uh, today, uh, I mean, it's 55 years since this inc incident occurred and uh, the victims and the, the crew, the survivors are still not recognized uh, as they should. And uh, they don't like the way it's portrayed, the, the incident is portrayed by the US uh, government. So let's go and see uh, what's going on here. This is from military.com from June 8, 2022 by Drew F. Lawrence, who I'm assuming he's gonna be fired. Uh, and <laughs> no, he's not gonna be fired because this article um, was allowed to show up and uh, be published with the nod of the authorities and everybody else involved. All right, so, and this is, I'm quoting, we are fed up with it. Survivors of the USS Liberty look for answers 55 years later. I give you the answers. <laughs> uh, the answers are there. The official, uh, the officials are not providing the answers. They're just dodging and because, you know, because it's about uh, our, our most important ally in the Middle East, quote unquote. So in section 34 at the center of the green oasis on the south side of Arlington National Cemetery, about 50 men and women gathered around a stone slab with six names on it. Many sought shelter on chairs in the, in the shade and others waved rocking on sea legs and canes in the June heat. The survivors of the attack on the USS Liberty, an event that happened 55 years ago, snapped salutes at the president of the USS Liberty Veterans Association, Larry L. Bowen, began a uh, remembrance ceremony on Wednesday. Now, Israeli munitions ripped through the Belmont class research ship with strafing fire, napalm, and torpedoes as it patrolled Mediterranean waters, waters performing signal intelligent mission during the 1967 Six Day War between Israel and a coalition of Arab countries. Um, the attack, which left 34 Americans dead and 174 others injured. Can you imagine what that was? <laughs> that was like. The reason was destroyed, blame it on the enemies, our enemies, and you guys intervene on our behalf. I don't know, the regular stuff, because let's read further and I'm going to intervene later. So um, two, -thirds, two thirds of the crew in total, according to a press release organized by, so it was two thirds injured. Um, it was a, a veiled in controversy since it happened. It was no controversy. We know exactly who did, who did, and who stopped the defense to come and come and help those guys. Uh, all right. Um, with survivors and even some former senior intelligence official, officials pointing to a deliberate bombardment by Israel and a subsequent U.S. dismissal of the event to pardon its ally. 
Well, maybe not really an ally, is he? For 55 years, we've been trying to honor the crew with little to no support from our government, just like the lack of support we received when we were under attack. Bowen continues from the podium. Our government has tried to cover the entire attack up as a, I'm citing, okay? Not me. As a uh, mere incident, nothing could be further from the truth. The story of the USS Liberty has threatened on the border, or was teetered on the border of ensure that and no. So it was just controversial, basically. The ship had one of the most highly decorated naval crews in the US history, earning uh, one Medal of Honor for, it, for the ship's commander, Captain William L. McGongley, and hundreds of other com uh, com commendation from the attack. Yet even after the mid-2000s, when the National Security Agency declassified bits and pieces of the event, some of which contradicted previously official accounts of the attack, the ship's history is still inconvenient for the U.S. government, according to the ship's survivors. Um, so he says, I was up, I'm quoting what the guy said here, uh, who was on the in, in one of the crew members. I was up on the signal bridges, he said, watching the first attack aircraft and their wings light up with machine guns side by side. He remembered the reconnaissance flights earlier in the morning and say that a spy on the board told him not to worry about it. The Israel were reporting that they had identified the ship as American. Some of them were low, low enough that we could have we could wave to the pilots and then the deck plotting would rattle, he said. Um, the attack. In the early hours of June 8, 1967, an Israeli aircraft took off on a routine reconnaissance patrol over the Mediterranean, according to a review of the incident conducted by the Israel Defense Forces. The plane identified a ship 70 miles west of Gaza, outside of uh, of territorial uh, waters of any country in the area, right? But could not determine it, it countries of the country of origin. Somewhere ashore, an Israeli intelligence officer marked the ship's location with a red flag on a Mac board, indicating it could be identified clearly. They had a flag flying. That's just so you know, see if these guys could wave of the guy coming with a with a uh, airplane to shoot them. And they had a big flag waving over there, of American flag. Uh, well, you can, well, maybe that's not, I mean, it was clear that it was not a, oh, what, what, what could have been? Uh, I don't know, Iranian flag, or what kind of flag could that be? Or a ship? As unknown aircraft circled, the Liberty sat exposed in the open sea. The ship contracted, contacted, contacted command, relying the, that the crew intended to destroy sensitive documents abroad to prevent their capture. So they were, what the hell? 18 minutes after the Liberty was first seen, the Israeli aircraft identified it as a U.S. Navy ship. Yet the marker remained red on the board of Israel uh, Central, Central Coastal Command until 9 a.m. when it was switched to green, indicating the ship was indeed neutral. But the Syrians uh, battered Israel's front lines and Egyptian submarines prowled the area. The green marker, according to the Israeli, became an aftermath. By the evening of June 8, the Liberty, which was armed with only a handful of 50 caliber machine guns, guns were nearly sunk. A barrage of torpedo slaps slap, slammed into the ship's ball, uh, hull as Israeli aircraft dropped napalm and strafed her deck repeatedly. The attack lasted two hours, according to Bowen. Dozens of, dozens of Americans were dead, and the question of why and how hung over the survivors and public and defense officials in the wake of the attack and the brief war. Barely 20 days later, the Navy said it had an answer to what had happened, or rather a partial one. The Liberty was doing its duty. The attack was unprovoked. Israel had ample time to identify the ship, but the U.S. could not identify the reason for the attack, according to a 1967 Department of Defense press release. The U.S. government has never publicly blamed Israel for uh, anything other than an accident. Now, um, just so you know, um, it, it, it tells the stories that uh, sailors are are uh, reporting here, um, and uh, 
I have more information on this. Uh, um, the, um, um, the US had a um, aircraft carrier in the Mediterranean Sea, I think, or uh, and it was that, or they took off from um, Germany. I can't remember exactly, but it was, I think it was the, the, the carrier. And they received order from, I don't know what kind of admiral to go and help the attacked ship. And then while they were going over there, he, uh, the, what's his name, the then President Johnson, he stopped, the, he said, no, turn around. And he gave the order above the, the military commander to turn their, its airplanes back. They were going to find fight uh, the aggressors and save Liberty. So Liberty was left over there. The purpose possibly could have been to be destroyed, sunk, and then blamed on someone else. And then you will see who would be really, really condemned for that. And it's not going to be an accident. It's going to be a real act of war. So we have to intervene. These things are done by everybody. It's not just uh, this was an accident. And why I'm saying it was an accident based on my, uh, on the available information, they, the American flag signaled, uh, put the uh, American flag up. It was over there. The crew were outside. Uh, that was an, an intelligence ship or you a spy ship uh, uh, monitoring the, what's going on over there. They, they contacted, they spoke with the, with the guys, with the guys who accidentally shot at them and they identify themselves as what they are. So it's not like, oh, I don't know who you are. I'm going to just start bombing you. And you make contact. You, can, you make verbal contact. I mean, verbal, not, hey, how are you doing, man? No, it's, you know, um, through transmission uh, means and so on. So it's not, you communicate. You communicate with lights, you that you're friendly and so on. With many ways. It's not like, oh, it was an accident. Well, you know, for two hours, it was an accident. For two hours, really? And uh, nevertheless, and then it was 70 miles away from the shore. What's your problem with that? What, what's, what, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, unfortunately, this will not be answered because un unless Israel will move from being considered our ally, will if, if, when, if, never, it will be considered something else. Then they will tell the rest of the story and they will switch it. Uh, right now, allies, right? So we're going to be nice. Uh, no allies, we're going to be... I don't want to say truthful, but we're going to say more about the story. There are many, many uh, uh, videos on this online, and there are books written about it. And there are some other friends of mine who had some uh, audio recordings uh, in like a 1990s, and uh, but they're dead, so you you can't get more about the information anymore. I'm sorry, and we live this in this world. We have to auto or self censor our censor ourselves. So we can't provide really names and uh, locations and things like this because, uh, you know, safety first. <laughs> no, but it's, uh, that's the, this is the world uh, we live in, uh, land of the free and land of the brave. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.